James, Chris, and I are really enjoying producing videos for you guys, but it would be really awesome if you could do us a favor and subscribe. The Speedle. The Speedle! The Speedle! Speedle! The Speedle. In this episode of Rot Wheels, you're going to watch me build my Speedle engine. I am so excited that I finally got a chance to do this, and I cannot wait for you guys to check it out. So keep watching. So obviously it all started with us taking the engine out. After that, I went ahead and tore everything down, completely bare bones, all the way to the block. After doing some more research on what block I had and what parts I wanted to use and what engine I wanted to build, I went ahead and just started prepping the block, getting it ready, because it's going to need a lot of cleaning before it's even ready to build anything on it. In the meantime of me waiting for parts, I powder coated all the tins, valve covers, and all the little accessories to go on the engine. All right, so today is the day I'm going to build my motor. I'm on my way to my buddy Jeff's uh, shop, which is Type 1 Revolution, and he's gonna help me build it, which is awesome. I'm really glad he gave me this opportunity, and it's just gonna be nice having the ability to build my engine with a professional engine builder and know everything's right and kind of cut out the trial and error, hopefully. Um, I'm hoping that I have everything. I packed everything up last night. It's about 7 a.m. right now. Um, so I'm heading there now and we're gonna get started on this engine. So once I arrived at Jeff's, we wasted no time whatsoever. We checked torque specs, we double checked the engine block clearances, we cut down our studs for our oil sump, and unfortunately, we did have to do a little bit of clearancing here and there. Then we were ready to go ahead and set our crank right in and get started. Once we were happy with the clearances on the stroker crank and the cam, we went ahead and sealed the case with some really good, strong Permatex aviation sealant. Speedle motor. I am so excited. We made so much progress yesterday. I know we had a couple of hiccups um, where we had to take the short block apart and clearance it, which wasn't too big of a deal. Um, took that apart, cleaned it, put it back together. So now we have a successful short block. Um, we're going to go ahead and assemble half of the short block or half of the long block, excuse me, today, um, which is just the half that is basically facing up right now um, so that we can. Uh, allow that sealant to really seal and dry so we have a very full day ahead of us jeff has been such a sport i'm his patience is amazing <laughs> at the beginning of day two we did a little bit of light work just getting every little thing done like studs clearancing making sure our flywheel fit all the basics of just getting it ready to be put together after that, we dry fit a cylinder and piston just to see what our clearances were, what our compression ratio was going to be, and how everything was going to look. We spent a lot of time trying to perfect how our cylinder was sitting on our case, and after many little clearance checking and moving around and readjusting. It just wasn't perfect because it was not gonna be set to the right compression ratio. So unfortunately we had to go ahead and send our cylinders off to one of Jeff's buddies to take out a little bit of material off the bottom so that it would sit low enough that we would have enough of a chamber for our compression ratio to be set correctly so that the cam would behave properly. Mm -hmm. 
At the beginning of day three, we spent a lot of time trying to get our end play measurement correct, and unfortunately, we just didn't have the right shims for the job. So we had to go ahead and order some new ones and set that aside for now. Currently rebuilding these carbs. Going pretty well so far. I'm not gonna lie. Jeff is awesome. Um, yeah, we're one down almost, and then we're gonna get onto the second one and then get them kind of preset so that when we put them onto the car, they should be good to go. For the most part, we'll tweak them and tune them later, but another step to knock off while we wait for all of our parts. All right, so we are finally on day four of our Speedle motor build. Um, we had to kind of take a hiatus for a couple days because we were waiting for parts, and I still haven't heard any word on those shims. I'm assuming they've shipped. So I'm waiting on my flywheel shims still, but the uh, <clears throat> cylinders, jugs, whatever you want to call them, they came back, and Jeff went ahead and test fit one and said they're looking good. So I'm headed over there now today. It's around 7 a.m. right now. I'm headed that way right now. <clears throat> We're gonna go ahead and get those on and hopefully get most of the long block assembled. I think we're still waiting on rocker arms as well, so we're kind of still playing it by ear. But right now, let's go make some progress. Day four started out great. Our shims arrived and our cylinders came back. So we wasted no time on getting everything on that block so we can keep moving forward. After we had most of the long block installed, we went ahead and put the sump on so we could give that some time to dry as well. Unfortunately, the oil pickup tube was just a tad too long and we needed to trim it. Day five was the joy of push rods and rocker arm geometry. This is super crucial so your engine can breathe properly. After we were happy with it, we tightened all the rocker arms down and made sure everything was great did a valve adjustment and started assembling the rest of the engine. After you get past that long block, the rest came together really quickly. Day six started with us priming the engine and attaching the exhaust so that it was ready for break-in.
During the break-in, we gave it about 15 minutes at a solid 15 to 2200 RPMs so we could break the cam in properly. It is day six, I think, or something of that sort, <laughs> um, that we're heading back to Jeff's. So the last time you saw us, we had just broken the engine in, and I was so relieved, but I'm sure you could tell I was very nervous, and it kind of ran late, so I didn't end up getting to be, uh, getting to check in. But anyway, the whole thing went well, good, still a little nervous about it, not gonna lie took a day or two to really set in that that engine actually ran and ran well and everything was good so today now I'm heading back there so we can tune the engine and put the final uh coated header on so we're gonna go do that today and hopefully wrap all that up on that section and we can call it a done on the speedle engine one step closer to having the thing done finally The Speedle finally has a heartbeat again. I am so excited to put this in the car and run it around and race some hell. I'm so excited. It's so long overdue, but in all honesty, none of this could have been possible without Jeff at Type 4 Revolution. He not only took the time to help me build my engine and build it properly, he allowed me to, you know, come bother him at his shop. Words can't even describe how grateful I am to Jeff and how much I just, I owe him. He's an amazing engine builder and he does some really killer stuff. So if you need your Volkswagen worked on, if he's worth the money, trust me, he is 110%, he gives his all, and he's also just a really cool dude. If you wanna check out Type 4 Revolution, everything is in the down bar as well for you. Go give him a shout. Thank you for watching this video and thank you so much for not only supporting me, but also supporting the Speedle. This is such an awesome opportunity. If you guys like this video, feel free to give us a like, comment what you wanna see us do next, and don't forget to subscribe to HH Wheels.